What's going on you guys? I know this one's a little late, but it's better late than never. The Sharks hang on and win 4-2. I don't know about this team right now. This felt like a tease, it, especially when they were up 2 to nothing. but I'll go over the goals. Uh, first goal coming from Brett Burns. That felt like a replay of Don Scoy's overtime winner. I mean, Matt Murray goes down, and there's a little snipe up in the corner. Love those kind of shots. That was wicked, perfectly placed. Uh, second goal, perfect tip in by Logan Couture. Nothing. The big thing was the Sharks outworked the Penguins on that play to keep it in the zone. Justin Braun puts it on net, and Couture tips it in. It's 2-0. Oh, you're thinking, wow, what a start. But it all goes downhill. There was the penalty kill, and everything just went south. There was the bad... If Jenny Malkin was trying to pass, and it goes off Justin Braun for the first goal, and then the next one, I think it was uh, Nick Bonino went off the body. It was just one of those rush plays. Uh, really just a terrible turnover by, by Brandon Dillon once again. I get really mad at Brandon Dillon quite a bit, but, yeah, on that play, it, that one cost him, and it was tied 2-2. I'm starting to think, okay, it was fun while it lasted. The season's about to end, and the Pittsburgh's got the momentum on their side, but Suddenly, Melker Carlson scores with about five minutes to go. It was one of those cheap goals with, I remember, I think it went off the arm and it bounced in. It was a very weak shot. It was not really, it should have been the goalies to, to block it, but it went in. We'll take it. And really, that first period was hell. I mean, there was penalties galore early. They had to kill some penalties. And I remember with like nine minutes to go, you already thought this game was halfway over, but... Nine minutes to go in the first, and this, that was a long first period. Second period, it was really two big chances for the Penguins, and Martin Jones had to come up big in both of them. There was that one rebound uh, save. If the Penguins elevated the puck, that goes in, but they didn't. Uh, Jones was able to get the pad, the left pad on that one. Uh, and then in the third, once again, they had to sit on it. Uh, they really got owned for most of this one for about 10 to 13 minutes. Then... Suddenly there were some good shifts, right, with about eight minutes to go. The Sharks were clearing the puck. It was clean. They were doing a lot better with the puck handling. And suddenly they get a power play. They didn't, they didn't force an odd man rush, which was probably the main goal on that power play was to play keep away. Uh, chances were minimal in the third. But once they sat on it with about five minutes to go, the defense was spectacular. I don't know how they did that. I don't know how they pulled that off. But really they should have conceded in the second period, I think. Yeah. Every playoffs, you're always going to have these games where the goalie steals a game for you. Usually every champion's going to have that. There's always that one game they got to win and they got to steal it. This is the one. Martin Jones had to steal this game for the Sharks. They, the Sharks had a magical three to four minutes to start the game, and then Penguins flipped the switch, and then boom. They, they were – it was an, that was a barrage of shots. My heart was racing – and then with about five minutes to go, my heart was not racing because I saw that the Sharks were playing very good defense. And then they were rewarded with the empty netter for Pavelski, who finally has a goal on the board. I know he's, everyone's talked about how he hasn't scored. You know who also hasn't scored? There's a guy named Sidney Crosby. Uh, he has not scored a goal. I think he has assists, but he doesn't have a goal this game. Really a strong outing by Logan Couture. Uh, this is why the, the torch has been passed that we've always talked about on Sharks players, uh, but they defensively have got to get better. There is, they were really just getting owned. I know they're going home next game and all that, but we all saw what happened last time there was a game in San Jose. So right now, the Stanley Cup is in San Jose, guys. It's in San Jose, and obviously I don't want to see it, but <laughs> it could happen. They could be celebrating on San Jose's ice, and we'll all be damned. Granted, we'll all be damned if they, lo they win a fourth game, but... The Sharks actually starved off elimination. That was a hell of a game for Martin Jones. And unfortunately, that's what they have to do is they have to ride him to win this whole thing, which I don't know if that's going to happen, but they're capable of it, at least from what I've seen from Martin Jones. At least, at least he has done enough to give the Sharks an opportunity. Can the Sharks win their puck battles and defense? That's another story. I need to see it to believe it. But if anything, this beard is still going to be lasting for another few days. And if anything, whenever you take a series to six games or seven games, you officially don't really choke. You, you actually just lose. So the Sharks, they showed up when they needed to. They starved it off the elimination for the night. If anything, we do have a series. It's not Usually if you lose in five, it's not a series. But six or seven, it is a series. So force a game seven, please. I don't want to see the cup. I don't want to see the cup on Sunday. So...
We'll see you guys later.